The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. The factors impacting the sign of free energy before we move into our examples. Firstly, when the enthalpy value and the entropy value are both positive, the reaction is spontaneous at high temperatures, as it says here, and at low temperatures, the reaction is spontaneous in the reverse direction. Now, when the enthalpy value is positive and the entropy value is negative here, then the value for our standard, for our free energy change, for our free energy change, that's going to be positive. Now, when our value for our free energy change is going to be positive, right, then that means that we that work must be done by the surroundings to drive the reaction. And furthermore, as it says here, at all temperatures, the reaction is spontaneous in the reverse direction. Now, when the enthalpy change here is going to be negative and the entropy change is positive, then the value for the free energy change, well, that's going to be negative. And when, what did we say in the previous slide when the value for the free energy change is negative? That at all temperatures, the reaction is spontaneous. And lastly, when the enthalpy change and the entropy change is negative, the reaction is spontaneous at low temperatures, and at high temperatures, the reaction is spontaneous in the reverse direction. Wonderful. Let's now proceed to our next slide, and we'll take a look at an example. Great. What are we being asked here? Example, example finding standard free energy change from Gibbs equation. Now, calculate the standard free energy change for the following reaction when the temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Here we have nitrogen and hydrogen giving us the synthesis of ammonia. Wonderful. Whenever you have these types of problems, the first thing that you always want to do is to see if your reaction is balanced. Let's take a look. Is our reaction balanced? No, right? We're going to need to balance our, our hydrogens. Furthermore, we also are going to need to balance the ammonia as well. And if you like, you can pause the video now and try it yourself, or I'm just going to go ahead and do that for us. If you place just a 3 in front of our hydrogen and a 2 in front of our ammonia, our reaction is now balanced. Great. Now, the equation that we just introduced on the previous slide was the equation for the standard free energy change, right? Let's go ahead and write that equation down here. And once we do that, we end up with the following equation, right? Now, we have, we don't have the value for the, the standard enthalpy change, and we also need the value for the standard entropy change. What we can do is we'll commence here by finding the value for the standard enthalpy change. And we can find the value for the standard enthalpy change from the, the enthalpies of formation, right? From the standard enthalpies of formation. And here we're given the one for ammonia at negative 45.9 kilojoules per mole. Wonderful. And this was an equation that we introduced a few slides back. Let's just go ahead and write that down now. And that was just for the products. The enthalpy change for the products minus the enthalpy, the standard enthalpies of formation here for our reactants. Great. Now, what we can do is go ahead and write a little bit more here for our equation. We know that we have two moles of ammonia that are forming, right, of ammonia gas, that is. Great. Now, we also have a mole of nitrogen here as gas as well. Great, plus three moles here of our hydrogen. Now, once we, one other important note that we should take note of is whenever you have Whenever you have elements here, let, let's come up here. Whenever you have elements in their normal state, such as just nitrogen here or hydrogen, then the, the, the formation value for it is going to be zero at 25 degrees Celsius. So that's an important note, keep that in mind. Thus, if we go ahead and we just write that in as such, we find, well, and then we'll write in our value here for ammonia as well, that this is just gonna be zero then plus zero as well, 